Human beings, indeed all animals, are designed by nature to know where they are relative to natural markers such as the moon, the sun, and topographical features. Lack of spatial awareness in its extreme forms lead to disorientation. Similarly, a country needs a method to calculate and gauge its progress in relation to projects, strategic plan, and policies. The government, in partnership with other stakeholders, organized the 8th Monitoring and Evaluation Week, dubbed Use of Evidence, the role of evaluation in governance and accountability in implementing of the Big Four Agenda. It was held in Kisumu County in November 2019. This week we are celebrating the 8th uh, Monitoring and Evaluation Week, which brings various stakeholders who are involved in monitoring and evaluation. And the, the reason why we celebrate this week is because we want to nurture that culture of monitoring and evaluation uh, as an important activity in our project implementation. This conference provides a platform for sharing experiences, emerging practices, and new knowledge so as to entrench the culture of m &E. This is crucial considering that uh, the practice of ME is increasing being adapted in the public sector to enhance performance towards achieving the aspirations of sustainable development goals, African Agenda 2063, Kenya Vision 2030, the Big Four Agenda, the County Integrated Development Plans. The event focused on five thematic areas, namely climate change, gender inclusiveness, transparency and accountability, real-time reporting, and result-based monitoring and evaluation. Kenya has made huge strides in a development objective since gaining independence from Britain in 1963. We have visible infrastructures such as airports, ports, highways, railways, schools, banks and hospitals, as well as invisible assets such as healthcare programs, expanded education opportunities, a progressive constitutional framework, and many more. For many years, however, a framework for monitoring and evaluation was non-existent. Mostly, monitoring and evaluation was done manually by observation. A scientific method was required. That is why the government, through the Monitoring and Evaluation Department, saw the need of establishing the National Integrated Monitoring and Evaluation System, NIMIS. m and &E is very important, and every government agency or ministry which is undertaking a project, they must come up with an m and &E framework, and that is the only way you can know whether you are succeeding in whatever plans you have, either a strategic plan, uh, that's the only way you can know whether you are on the track. Because when you do monitoring and evaluation, you are able to identify the challenges and the gaps, and then you recommend for correct, correction of uh, remedies or to, to remedy the, the challenge that you have noted. The NIMIS framework was cascaded down to the county governments in the form of County Integrated Monitoring and Evaluation System, CIMIS. The Department of Monitoring and Evaluation, MED, is mandated to coordinate the implementation of the National Integrated Monitoring and Evaluation System, NIMIS. The NIMIS was set out with the objective of, one, building the monitoring and evaluation practice and culture throughout Kenya while ensuring the integration of state and non-state actors in the reporting process. The second objective was to strengthen capacities for monitoring and evaluation at all levels, and our two days that we have had went through uh, building that capacity. The third one is producing policy research and key monitoring and evaluation uh, reports. Fourth, tracking follow-up on the implementation of uh, government development agenda. Five is to institutionalize monitoring and evaluation in Kenya so that uh, we have standardized and harmonized project monitoring and evaluation at all levels of uh, government. This NIMES is implemented through 
One, data collection and indicator development. Two, project monitoring. Three, undertaking of research and results. Four, through capacity development and policy coordination. And five, through the use of the knowledge that we gain, which is dissemination, advocacy, and sensitization. It tracks the implementation progress of public sector policies, programs, and projects aligned to Kenya Vision 2030, medium-term plans, and county-integrated development plans. An effective monitoring and evaluation regime ensures transparency, accountability, and continuity of all developmental initiatives. As monitoring and evaluation department, we have been able to break down the plan into deliverables, into targets to be implemented by every partner playing in that um, space, the big activities that we need the top level, the top government level to be following. Not everything, but the top things to be followed. And as a State Department for Planning, we have developed what we call uh, the National Indicator uh, Handbook for reporting of the progress that uh, we have. So we have that uh, book. It's already uh, published. It covers uh, the outcomes that are derived from the Kenya Bishop, uh, the, the medium term uh, plan uh, three, including the big four uh, agenda. And uh, of course, this uh, instrument was provided by a uh, 20 better program and was approved by MET. The conference attracted approximately 400 participants from the county, as well as national, regional, and international experts who converged to learn, share, and exchange knowledge on diverse experiences and the way forward when it comes to matters concerning monitoring and evaluation. very interesting to see the, the diverse group of people who are attending this eight MNE week, you know, in, in, in Kisumu, in Kenya. Formerly, when you go to MNE tra a meeting, you will see people who are either evaluation specialists or wannabe evaluation people. So we say the impact evaluations are important because they let everyone understand did a program actually work like we thought it would work? So for example, perhaps there's a new teacher training program that aims to improve teacher, teacher skills in providing lessons in the classroom. But did that program actually work? Did that program actually result in better educational outcomes for children? If you run an impact evaluation, an impact evaluation can give you that answer. We have adopted the approach of evidence-based decision making that uh, we are continuing to lay emphasis on the mentoring evaluation, which is quite a critical uh, uh, element in any, any, in any development journey that a country is taking. We, we cannot uh, succeed until we are able to uh, track what we are doing. Currently in uh, Kenya, monitoring and evaluation is, um, is not uh, controlled by any legislative uh, framework. As a State Department for Planning, we are in the process of developing a monitoring and evaluation policy, which will be accompanied by a monitoring and evaluation bill. These documents are ready. They are awaiting the process of um, passing through the government mechanism to make them uh, law. We expect that once we have this uh, poli uh, policy and legal framework, that we will be able then to get uh, muscle and also offer incentives and benefits for people to undertake monitoring and, uh, and evaluation in the country. The conference also incorporated young professionals in the monitoring and evaluation field. This is a step forward to ensure mentorship and an interrupted transition of experts both locally and internationally. We don't want our gap to be left, so that's why we are nurturing that. Uh, even, as we, uh, even as we employ other people, we shall make sure that they, we train some to, on areas of m and &E. Our universities are also offering m and &E as a course uh, so that we can have the capacity. The experts gave their views on the importance of embracing monitoring and evaluation and discussed areas of improvement. The most critical part of the monitoring and evaluation 
is that you have a process for measuring what you are doing. And therefore it requires you to have certain uh, indicators. You need to be observing those indicators. You need to have a mechanism of measuring based on those indicators so that you can see whether you are making progress or you are being slowed down in what you wanted to do. We need to put a proper governance mechanism and accountability because we undertake all these uh, activities for and on behalf of the Kenyan uh, people and therefore they want to see during the implementation of uh, government projects, policies, programs uh, that the governance mechanism surrounding the implementation is uh, at, uh, at, at top notch. So we hope that uh, through the use of evidence we can be able to speed up the implementation of uh, the government um, uh, programs in a manner uh, that the stakeholders will be able to say that all the governance issues, all the accountability issues were addressed in getting better quality of life for the citizens of uh, Kenya. The conference also identified the need for capacity building in monitoring and evaluation to the lowest level of communities to enhance transparency and accountability, hence promoting economic development of the country. The discussion that you're having here is timely because this week that you, have, you are holding here, which you have been holding since 2012, is an important week for you and for the counties and for national government and for those colleagues and friends who came from other countries because of the pl platform that uh, it gives you for consolidating the knowledge, the m and &E knowledge, especially on the projects and programs of government, both national and county, since we are one indivisible nation of both national and county. I must say that the selection for trainers was, was on point. Uh, the subject areas that uh, were selected were very sound and uh, I got a chance to participate in a number of those, uh, of, uh, number of those conferences and they all speak to the whole idea of, uh, of uh, uh, monitoring and evaluation, the different concepts, uh, the different uh, approaches that there are, uh, but also importantly there's also a very strong conversation on engendering monitoring evaluation. Having monitoring and evaluation week is very important. And I know that you know some other African countries also have a national evaluation week. Uh, Benin, Uganda uh, are examples. But uh, in my region, Asia region, uh, this is not happening. So we will also start learning from Africa and especially from Kenya. The trainings were very relevant and very rich. I saw them as a capacity building session and to see that the conference provided that platform for some of us as participants, it was quite a fantastic opportunity. It has been uh, enlightening, there has been a lot to learn. I was here from uh, day one with the pre-conference workshops, uh, specifically on result-based management and there was really a lot to learn in terms of how, how, how we identify and analyze problems, the whole aspect of theory of change, and most importantly the use of evaluations in uh, enhancing governance and accountability, especially in the public sector. Traveling without milestones and landmarks is like flying a plane without a radar, never knowing when or if you have arrived at your destination. With the monitoring and evaluation frameworks in place, however, Kenya knows exactly how far she has come and how close she is to the desired destination of a middle-income economy by the year 2030.